Hey everybody, it's David. So I'm really busy looking for the transits of Proxima B right now this week, but I did notice that our YouTube channel has just passed the 1000 subscriber mark, which is amazing. And I just wanted to do a quick video and say thank you to everyone about that. Now I know 1000 subscribers is not a big deal to many YouTube channels, but to me it really does mean a lot. I mean, the fact that over 1000 of you have chosen to subscribe to a science channel about exoplanets is pretty incredible. When I started this channel, my long-term goal was to reach a few hundred subscribers. So I'm overwhelmed by the fact we've reached over a thousand in less than six months. I'm not aware of a channel which does quite what we do, so I'm not following a model here. This really is a social experiment. Like many astronomers, I've done plenty of outreach events in the past, but they do tend to be in-person events. Like, for example, a public lecture, or a science fair, or an observing night. But all of these in-person events do have a problem. And that is that we all live increasingly busy lives. I mean, I know in my experience, as someone who is passionate about science, it's very difficult to find the time to give up an evening or a weekend to go to a science event these days. So my goal here was to give you these bite-sized chunks of science that you could enjoy on the go during your commute or even at home at night. Moreover, I wanted to share our exciting science here to not just people who happen to live nearby a top university like Columbia, but to potentially millions of people dispersed all over the world from different backgrounds, far beyond the traditional walls of academia. I believe that science enables the future of our society. It's all around us, from looking at the rain falling down from the sky to playing Pokemon Go on your iPhone. If astronomy or exoplanets can be the hook to ignite or keep alive your passion for science, then I can think of few of the things more deserving of my time and energy as a scientist and as an educator. Now this hasn't always been easy. I know, for example, this won't help my tenure case as a junior professor here. And I know many of my peers don't think that we should be talking about research on YouTube. But I believe in this, and the fact so many of you do as well is humbling. So let me first thank all of the guest contributors so far to our channel. You can actually expect many more of them going forward in the next semester. And of course I want to thank all of you exoplaneteers who have subscribed so far to our channel. You are the reason why I am doing this. So I have some plans for the future of this channel, but this is your chance actually to let us know in the comments below how would you like to see our channel evolve? What would you like to see us do in the future? So back to science, we'll have a new video by Dr. Caleb Scharf coming your way early next week. In the meantime, I'm gonna go back to looking for those transits of Proxima B. So until next time, stay curious.